So guys, I think I have found a sidearm equally as good as the last op, that also epic yet slightly OP sidearm. This weapon though does have its flaws, but if you can get over them and control them, you will love it as much as I do. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to face off two amazing sidearms, both hit real hard, one is pretty popular, in fact it's the go-to sidearm, and the other one many people disregard due to, well, basically not giving it enough of their time. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some epic loot? If so, I have emblem codes, sparrow codes, gift cards and much much more. To win something, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, linked within the video description. Okay, so the last hope sidearm is the best sidearm in the game, I'm pretty sure most would agree. But is there anything that can rival it? Today I think I have found that very sidearm, and that is the Fool's Remedy, the Iron Banner sidearm, yes you heard that right. Now using this at first, I went with like what everybody else basically was saying, and that the thing is complete trash. It shoots so quick you can't control it, the recoil is absolutely scandalous, and it will take a genius to master, but in actual fact it really doesn't, it just takes a little time. This full auto little monster is in fact a monster if used correctly. So firstly let's check out its perks before we check out its in-depth stats. So we have moving target which is this weapon's trait perk. We have ricochet rounds or accurized rounds, control sass, tactic sass or fair point sass. So this weapon's definitely sassy. So its in-depth stats on screen now, let's check them out and then compare them to the last hopes. So it fires 450 rounds per minute, meaning it shoots roughly 7.5 bullets per second, equaling out to 15 bullets dead on 2 seconds. It will empty its entire clip in 2.01 seconds. Reload time is under a second with 0.24 and its ADS time is 0.4 seconds. Damage it does is 27 to the head and 20 to the body, meaning damage per second to the head based over 2 seconds is 202.5, so 405 every 2 seconds. Damage per second to the body is 150. Fastest time to kill possible with this weapon is 1.04 seconds, coming from 8 headshots. Aim assist is 58 and its recoil direction is 94 which we will see on screen now. As you can see, this thing, if left unhandled, will instantly shoot high up into the sky, but it is quite easy to control. Don't be put off by what you see. So let's look at the last hope, comparing it to the Fool's Remedy on screen. So it shoots slower than the Fool's Remedy, shooting 415 rounds per minute, so basically seven bullets per second. It will empty its entire larger clip in 2.28 seconds, its reload time is 1.02 seconds and its ABS time is 0.5 seconds. Damage it does 28 per headshot and 20 to the body. Damage per second to the head it will do 179.4 if you divide its fire rate of 415 rounds per minute by 60, but that is actually counting the time between bursts too. I've actually timed this to the exact frame and it will shoot 3 bursts in under a second. It will do 138 damage per second to the body. Its fastest possible time to kill comes from 8 shots to the head and will kill in 0.27 seconds which is definitely the fastest I've measured so far, it's absolutely crazy. Its aim assist is 70 and its recoil direction is 93. On screen now we can see this thing's recoil and to be honest it does drift up but it is easy to control. So when you compare the two the last hope is clearly better but it's a burst weapon at a close range when someone is jumping all over the place you definitely have the advantage when you're holding down that trigger and firing in full auto mode rather than tapping it. But even so the outcome between the two here was going to be pretty obvious. And the last hope is definitely the better sidearm of choice, but the Fool's Remedy is a great, great sidearm for sure. And in many, many instances, you will outgun people using the last hope. The Fool's Remedy is definitely one you should try out and not just disregard, as it might actually surprise you. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, it really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.